It's the flat in the sun, you don't see that very often. I thought naively for a moment it was the morning, but it's not, it's nearly one o'clock on Saturday. So we're doing more looking at sofas and chairs. Welcome to another episode of Trophy Stupid Vlog. So this is what I've achieved today. Does, that's a white wall. It doesn't look that impressive until you realise it wasn't always a white wall. Yes, I've made a cream wall white. Amazing. This is room getting slowly transformed. So um, there'll be a television in there. There'll be a fake bookcase here. And then some chairs probably here. And that will take a couple of months and then it'll be great. Yeah, I'm on a boat. <laughs> so here we go, this is, this is Talistall Castle and downstairs there's a comedy night which is what we're going to at the moment. It's very warm down here and very cold up here. This is East Sheen Common, which is which leads into Richmond Park through the King's Ride Gate, which is where we're approaching now because it's the sun is out, the sky is blue, and I have a picnic on my back. I'm like a tortoise. If tortoises filled this show with food, I'm more like a camel then. So this is Richmond Park, obviously. In the blue. Sun's gone in for a moment, we're just gonna head round the corner there and curve our way towards Ham. And hopefully the sun will come back out and we can eat this picnic that I'm wearing. That's the plan. So this is the uh, Sidmouth wood which is this part at least entirely filled with uh, rhododendrons, some of which are out, as you can see up here, but most of which are not. It's still a bit damp, for uh, especially for May, but there we go. Aha! Do we have a choice? Are we being presented with a... Not, not that way. <laughs> not left. Um, can we go right though? No. Not right, okay, so it's not so much a choice, uh, more of a tease. Right, okay. We'll go straight on then. So this is a little spot near Ash Lodge, I think that is, over there. Can't remember now. We can just walk past it. We're just having a picnic. Whoa. The sun's got in, typical. And this nice chestnut tree here. And we're going down to Ham afterwards, which is kind of that way, very roughly. Past some deer, what have you. Lots of deer. Not hugely surprising, it being Richmond Park. They're just grazing in the... This is Ham Cross Plantation, the name of this wood. They're just chilling. That's Barry. That's the deer. Can you see what's happening here? It's like a Fenton all over again. This gentleman over here is yelling, Barry. It's not helping. Barry isn't interested. <laughs> oh, Barry's, Barry's <laughs> met his match. Oh, Barry, you idiot. Outnumbered and outgunned. So this is back by the Thames. Just come through Ham. And that is the Petersham Hotel where we were only, I say only, it's a couple of months ago now. Ridiculous. And this is the uh, paddock with the cows on. That's the beautiful Thames 
an evening. Isn't it a beautiful evening? Surprising seeing as how it's been pissing it down all day. So only a couple more days before I go to Italy. Um, so tomorrow we're going to have a walk in, which would be nice. And right now I need to buy shallots, the Englishman's middle class onion. Good morning. Forgive me the suns in my eyes, even with these on, it's quite bright. It's a beautiful morning, which is why I'm walking in it towards Hammersmith and hoping to get used to this kind of weather for Italy. Uh, never know, which is Friday, so a couple more days of this and then some holiday. It's going to be awesome. So, you know, you get to come. It's the newly finished road club. They've done a nice little lawn and we've got some new steps to get the boats down there more easily. It's lovely out, isn't it? It's quite nippy, but it's very pleasant. Everything's very green, slightly wet from yesterday's rain. It smells of spring. Easy. So this is the bit of the footpath that's closed, only a couple of hundred metres, by these great people, apparently. Interestingly, he said it'd be done by the 11th of May. Hmm, what's today's date again? Oh, that's right. The 16th. Good work. So there's a sign that says use diversion between April and the 11th of May, and then when you try and use the path after that, turns out they haven't finished. Brilliant. Good work, everyone involved. Here we go. Coming in towards Chiswick and Hammersmith in the sun. I do like this victory boat, the one that's so massive it feels really, really out of place on the Thames. I love it. And maybe an apartment. Just saw a woman taking her rabbit for a walk with a red ribbon lead behind me. Really happening. Amazing. When you don't have Sky Movies and when you don't have Netflix, Lindsay comes to a store to look for DVDs. She's keeping the DVD trade up. Lindsay, how's it going? Great, thank you. I'm looking for Zoolander. Zoolander. That you is, guys requested Zoolander. That is, a, that is a, such a film. It's, it's probably, Who is it? Ben Stiller? Yeah. Blue Steel. Give me the Blue Steel pose. No, it's all about. Good. Social suicide of the day. Oh, I went out for a, I was... Hi Toby. Hi Rajar people. This is my Rajar right. smiley face. <laughs> Convincing. You should do it with actual humans. Yeah, I thought about doing it with actual humans. Oh, but actual humans are really you? unreliable. By the way, can I just say um, hello to all my fans that are saying uh, all check Neil Bentley's Rajar smiley side. I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> it's not. But... It's the time tunnel on Heart, Shakademus and Pliers and Tease Me and Roxette before that, 1993 today. Uh, well done everyone that got it right on the text, including Lawrence and Kingy, who spent this year travelling around Australia in a converted ice cream van. Uh, Ian Cook got it right, great year for him. And Dave, working at Harris, is also right as well. 1993, going to play Soul to Soul and Adele in just a sec. And of course, the time tunnel back tomorrow morning at 9. Tease me, tease me, tease me, tease me. You don't realise. You know, you people watching this right now don't realise what a momentous moment that was. Seven years on heart, 14 years in radio. I've been waiting to say Shaka Demas and Flyers live on air. Shaka Demas and Flyers! Jeez, Are you going to put that in your official show reel? Oh my god, honestly, it, it, it was such a moment. I mean, I had to restrain myself. I wanted to get really excited. <laughs> Shaka! I couldn't. No. Pliers was there right till the end. He was brilliant. Shaka Demas and Pliers. Probably the best band ever in the world of bands. Yeah. That's what. <laughs> yes. Shaka Close second. Pliers. Unbelievable. Honestly. Bring them back. Where are they? I don't. I don't know. I think they're in retirement. We need to get them back on the road. We're going to reform Chuckadeva suppliers. Some of the, uh, 
Capital Summertime Pool. Shakavimus and Planet. <laughs> Amazing. And I would ask just if I, I know I don't work for Capital, but I would ask if I could just come on and bring them, bring them on. Yeah. Bring on Shaka and Demas. And One in each hand. It'd be a beautiful moment. Oh my God. Seriously. I'm going to go travelling around wherever they live and find them. Jamaica, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go to Jamaica and find them and sing on the beach. <laughs> it's a romantic story. Seriously, that, that was a real moment. I wanted to tell everyone about it on air, but they wouldn't have got it. <laughs> no, it's very true. I wondered whether maybe, as a neat segue, we could we could see whether there is any further information on your billion dollar business. Oh, right. Yeah, there isn't. But I thought <laughs> we could get Jack and Demas and Pliers together, we could raise another 50 quid towards That's, it. I would imagine, at least. A Brannigan's still going, that chain of shit bars. <laughs> I think they are, yes. Brilliant. Named after Laura Brannigan yes. and her shit record. Well, we could get... We could get Shaka Demas and Pliers, you know. Oh, Brannigan's tour. Yeah, not Yeah, Brannigan. exclusive to Brannigan's. Exclusive to Brannigan's, so it'll be 75 quid rather than 50 if you want exclusivity. Yeah, that's true. And two for ones on um, WKD before 8 o'clock. I've got another great idea for the billion dollar bastard. And it involves um, women. <laughs> okay. Uh, it involves women getting ready to go out after work. Okay, interesting. I can't say any more than that. I'm going to tease you, tease you, tease you, baby. In radio, we call that a segue. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I wish we could play it again. I'll have a word with Russ. We'll see what we can do. Come around here and have a look at it. There it is. It's all its glory in the log. I didn't, music doesn't quite look quite as good as it sounds. There it is. Shaka, Demas and Plyas. Tease me, tease me, tease me, tease me, baby. Amazing moment in radio you've just witnessed there. Truly Seriously. groundbreaking. Seriously. A momentous occasion. People will talk about this. There'll, there'll be songs sung. There have been millions of people all over the UK singing to that song. Going, yeah. Tease me, tease me, tease me, tease me, baby. Probably go like that. <laughs> in the office. They yeah. Stop what they were doing. Bumping and grinding yeah. in their office. If I was in the office and Toby played that, I would have. The office would have stopped. I would bent Vino over the desk and then go, tease me, tease me. Not in a sexual way. Just in a, just, just in a dancey way. Right. Thank you for that.